How's it going guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be giving you my initial thoughts on the Launch Sea Reader 909. This is a scan tool that I got my hands on a couple of weeks ago and I'm just going to be giving you my thoughts on how I have found it using it daily in the workshop since I got it. So without further ado let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so before we crack into the review, let's just give you a bit of a background here. Why did I pick the Sea Reader 909 and where did I get the tool from? Um, the tool was sent to me from a company, but it was sent under very strict guidelines on my side. The guidelines were that I could do a completely impartial review, that if I found something that I didn't like or there was something I wasn't happy with, that I was able to put it in the review. Also, I was allowed to use it on any vehicle that I choose in any reviews, review style that I want. So the company was very happy to let the tool do the talking for it and I was happy to use the launch tool. The reason I picked this particular Sea Reader 909 was because I have used launch uh, many times in the past, I have owned the original X431 uh, diagnostic tool. I also owned the wireless X431 Pro 3. So I'm familiar with launch. Uh, I know what they can do. I know how good they are. And I know what a wide range of vehicles that they cover. It was one of my go-to uh, brands when I um, was working at home in Ireland previously. And I found that I was going to launch before I was going to any other of the scan tools that I had. So um, the reason I said yes to this company as well and the reason I have turned down so many of these review, review style videos in the past is because this C reader does not sit into the budget range car category. It is not your $100 to $300 uh, scan tool. It is able to do bi-directional controls and that is very important to me. I'm not going to do a review on a scan tool that I wouldn't use myself and um, so um, my long-term subscribers would be well aware of that. I've always been completely honest and transparent with any of the tools I use or any of the information that I'm giving you is genuine. So when I had the opportunity to work with a tool, I, I was pretty happy that I knew would be very good. I said yes, and I was uh, able to get my hands on this tool and go forward from there. Okay, so what jobs have I used the C Reader 909 on? Uh, firstly, very first job of the week was a Audi A4. That was a service reset. I did check on um, uh, Autodata to see if it was a manual reset or not. And there was no manual reset function on it. It was a scan tool only. So I picked up the uh, launch and was able to um, clear the service warning light on the dash of that. Uh, very happy with that. First job I used it for, um, scan tool only reset, and it had the features available to do that. So we were successfully able to clear the light on that job. The next one that I used it for was the um, happiest I was in the week with how the tool performed, which was a Mercedes um, 2008 model C220. Uh, that's the W204 models. And uh, the customer complaint was that the driver's door lock wasn't opening and closing like it should and neither was the passengers. That's all the information I had and I said about doing a, um, a diagnostic uh, as part of that. Now, customer was in for a service, so this was one of those that was thrown in um, when the customer came in. Could you have a quick check and see what you think? Um, without going too far uh, into diagnostics, I was able to uh, communicate and see the switches were working properly. So um, uh, we were able to see uh, on the uh, live data function that the switches were becoming active and inactive when they were being commanded. There was also the uh, correct voltages were down at the module and we could safely say that the door lock actuators aren't functioning um, as required. 
when the customer came back in I did ask them um, to confirm that they didn't fail at the same time because they are independent door lock actuators on that the customer did confirm that the passenger had failed quite a while ago and um, that they weren't worried about that it was when the driver's door one became a problem that they wanted to have it looked at so with the information I was able to uh, see on the scan tool I could verify that there was no wiring breaks actually going to the module that the switches were um, were active and that the lock actuator even though the command was being sent down was not happening now the 100% diagnosis will be when the uh, panel is all off but given that information of the customer you're able to give a quote on what uh, the job may be to do the repairs on it uh, was very very happy with that and so was the customer to be able to get that information off a service uh, when they come in know what's wrong pretty much and uh, go away having a feeling that their their vehicle has um, uh, been checked over fully and that these technicians that are working on my care are able to do the work that I need them to do. So I was very happy with that feature in the launch. I'm not surprised at all that it was in it. I had a look through on that A4 and there was a whole host of information on it. Last job of the week um, that I did in regards to a diagnostic was on a Kia Rio. Uh, showed up a knock sensor fault and um, having a conversation with the customer. Also having a look back at the pre previous history. I was able to use the scan tool and um, successfully diagnose why that fault happened. And... Uh, I have nothing but good things to say so far about this scan tool. It has um, got in 100% on any jobs that I needed so far. I have uh, plugged it in to many other vehicles uh, that I worked on, but those are the ones with genuine problems that I was uh, investigating to see if the scan tool could do it or not. And that is it guys, that is my initial review of the launch uh, Creeder or Sea Reader 909, whichever you want to call it. Uh, it is a very good, nothing but positive things to say so far. Uh, Scan Tool has done everything I have asked it to do and I'm extremely happy with it. The company that I used and where this Scan Tool has come from with all the information will be linked in the description. There is a code for a discount should you want to buy this scan tool as well. You can go ahead and use that code to grab yourself a little bit off. Uh, in the future, I will be doing much more um, um, diagnostics and work with this scan tool. If I find a feature I don't like, I'll be sure to post that up. Um, but be uh, sure to stay tuned should you want any more information on this scan tool. Anything that you didn't get in this video, Post your comments down below and uh, I will reply with whatever information that I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and, and, and useful. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.